Hey guys, welcome to Mad Scientist Barbecue. More energy. We want to have more energy. This more energy. Hey guys, welcome to Mad Scientist Barbecue. I'm Jeremy Yoder, and today I'm going to show you the awesome thousand gallon fat stack smoker that I'm cooking on right now. Now, this isn't my smoker. It belongs to Pearl's Barbecue Los Angeles. And they asked me to come in and do a cook for them tonight. And I said, absolutely. And so I'm here tonight cooking some briskets and some beef ribs for them. But I want to tell you guys about the smoker itself. First things first, this is a thousand gallon smoker. That means it's built out of a thousand gallon propane tank. And the firebox, I think, I don't know for sure, but it looks like it's a 500 gallon tank cut in half. So that's an extra 250 gallons. Now when I got my 500 gallon smoker, I thought, you know, I was the big cheese, got a big old smoker. When I pull it up next to this one, it looks pretty tiny and kind of disappointing, you know? I thought I had the, the big kahuna of smokers, but no, this, this right here, this is the beast. And this smoker is a beast, not only because of how it looks, but also because of how it cooks. A really cool feature about this smoker is the Texas theme that it's got. There are little things everywhere that kind of give in to the Texas theme. We've got the door stops are made out of horseshoes, kind of classic Texas style. These six shooters here on the door handles are, I think are just a really neat touch and contribute to the outlaw cowboy Texas style theme. And then also we can't forget these little models of Texas with this Texas star. Little hints all over the place that remind you that this is Texas style barbecue. And that's exactly what they do here at Pearls. It's just salt and pepper and it's brisket, it's beef ribs. They're using oak. They're burning it in an offset smoker, like out of an old propane tank. That kind of central Texas style is exactly what they're doing here and why it's Pearls Texas barbecue. Now the most remarkable thing about this smoker, in my opinion, is the thickness of the steel itself. So. When I open this door up, it's pretty heavy. I kind of have to lean into it to pick up the door. That's because I'm pretty sure the door, I talked to Eric who made this, I'm pretty sure the door weighs 110 pounds. And that's because it is over half an inch thick because this is 0.525 inches thick. Now the gold standard is a quarter of an inch. And so this is over twice that amount. I mean, some high quality smokers are made with three eighths of an inch. And so this is, you know, thick as a brick in comparison. And what that does for the smoker is it gives it awesome heat retention. So if you're running the fire right and you have everything working the right way, you can actually get 275, 275, 275, 255 on the far end. I mean, it, the, the level of consistency across the grate is absolutely incredible. And that has a lot to do with the thickness of the steel itself. Now to give you some perspective about how big this thing is, it's got four big doors all the way down. The tank itself, the main cooking chamber, is 16 feet long and the cooking grate on the bottom is about 40 inches across. So you can get a lot of food in here. But that wasn't even enough. So there are actually top grates in this also so that for their grand opening, Pearl's Barbecue could feed you know 1,500 people. It can cook up to 45, maybe 50 briskets in this thing. And so it can put out a lot of food and that's really good for a smoker that they're going to be using at this restaurant, hopefully serving lots of people in Los Angeles. All right, here we got the firebox. This is a really nice firebox, number one, because it's nice thick metal because it's made out of a propane tank itself. It's not insulated or semi-insulated or anything like that. It's just really old school, you know, weld two propane tanks together and build a fire and cook some meat. Now, what's cool about this is if you notice this door, right, there are no vents on that door. Why? Because we adjust the air going into the fire with the door itself. I mean, we would need humongous vents that would be just a pain in the butt to deal with on this door to maintain a fire that's as big as what's required to heat up the smoker. And so instead, it's much easier just to open and close the door as necessary. And so in order to burn a clean fire, most of the time this door is pretty open. It gets lots of air in there. You burn a clean fire, it produces good smoke. And another cool Texas feature you see right here is the door handle is a horseshoe and it's actually not a little horseshoe like that it's like a draft horse horseshoe so nice big handle to the firebox door here um, one really good thing i've noticed about these fat stack smokers is they build incredibly good at coal beds now one of the biggest problems i have with my smaller smoker is building a coal bed that will light a new chunk of wood when i put it on so a lot of times the fire will go up 
right? It'll hit a high in temperature, it'll come down, and when you're ready to put on another log, the coal bed's almost completely burned away, and you're trying to start a fire, again, almost from scratch. Not completely from scratch, but it's, it's, it's difficult work to get it going. But with this, by the time it drops 10 degrees, throw another log on. Drop 10 degrees, throw another log on. It maintains a really consistent temperature by virtue of its thick metal and also because it's so large that the variation is small every time you add a log. Necessary for overnight cooks. Five calories? It's ridiculous. The last thing I want to tell you guys about this smoker is about this smokestack itself. Now, I'm sure you notice it's really big and that's important because this big honking smokestack is going to draw lots of air through the cooker. When you got a big cooker like this, you need a lot of draw from your smokestack and we get that two ways. Number one is because this diameter of the stack itself is really big, so it allows lots of air to go through. Also, it's nice and tall, so it's got a lot of draw, but it's not too tall to start developing too much back pressure. And back pressure is when the gas starts to cool in the smokestack and then causes it to not rise as quickly and so you don't draw as much air out. Now this draws, as Eric says, it draws like Walt Disney and it pulls lots of air through the cooker. Uh, it does a phenomenal job. I mean, right here in the middle, it's drawing the air across the grates as much as you can. Of course, there's gonna be some fluctuation in different parts of the cooker, but the way it's designed is absolutely beautiful. And the fact that it's half an inch thick only makes things better. And right here underneath the smokestack, I guess we should include, that it's got a big old grease drain. I think that's two inches, maybe two and a half inches. And so when you're cooking a bunch of briskets on here, the grease coming out of here is almost non-stop. So we've got a big old five gallon bucket underneath there to carry all, to catch all the grease rather. And this thing cooks like a champ. I think it's really cool. If you guys are in LA, you should come down and check this thing out. I mean, just to come and look at it is worth it enough. Not to mention, they're gonna have great brisket, great beef ribs here at Pearl's Barbecue. And occasionally I'll be here myself cooking some pork, uh, pulled pork sandwiches and ribs and things like that. With a smoker this big, all the tools have to be amped up in size. For instance, the grill grate brush is this big. <laughs> now, on most backyard smokers, this would be more than overkill. This would be like a nuclear bomb when you need like a firecracker. But for this, it's perfect. I mean, you get in there, you can get those grates clean. Um, it's really cool, but it's always kind of mind blowing how much bigger everything needs to be to cook this amount of food and to clean the smoker and make everything work well. So I have to confess a little bit of jealousy about this big old smoker right here. But overall, it's a really cool smoker. But if you want to get a comparison, there's my smoker right over there. Thank you for watching Mad Scientist Barbecue. I hope you guys enjoyed this video where I showed you guys this big old smoker. Um, you get to kind of see how it works and kind of what's going on down here at Pearl's Barbecue LA. Don't forget to like the video, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, you can follow me on my social media right here. I'll put those links down in the description. See you guys next time.